amazingly. <laughs> all right, mate, just check this out. I just, uh... <laughs> all right, mate, just check this out. I just <clears throat> typed in. <laughs> just check this out. Many people say the middle class is being eliminated, but this is wrong. It is already long gone. Observe purchasing power and you'll see why we're at this stage right now. It's just not tangible for many people. This is the age of capital, where it is very costly to be part of the sheeple. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't, people vote and they hope things will get better, but they won't. Okay, in all seriousness, the Federal Reserve is comprised of 12 member banks. If we take a look at official data from one of these member banks, the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, it becomes apparent what is happening. Here we can see the median sales price of houses sold for the United States. Let's ignore the fact that it hits a quarterly all-time high in quarter 4 2020, despite the lockdowns, because that would induce a conversation about money supply and, more importantly, money velocity. And that's a dangerous conversation. Let's go back to the first quarter of 1971. The median sales price was $24,300. So, let's say you had $1,000,000 in 1971, you could buy around 41 houses, purchase them, own them, okay? Remember that. Now let's fast forward 50 years. Quarter 1, 2021. The median sales price was $347,500. So, let's say you had $1,000,000 in 2021. You could buy around three houses, purchase them, own them. Wait, so that's a factor of around 14 difference, right? between what you could purchase and own with $1,000,000 in 1971 and what you could purchase and own with $1,000,000 in 2021. Turn it upside down. Think about this. People work their entire lives to pay off a single mortgage oftentimes, such that they can purchase and own a single home. Because up until that mortgage is paid, the bank owns the home. This concept of purchasing power is critical to understand. Those who don't will most likely be in the camp of you will own nothing and you will be happy. So what has happened to cause this? Well, in the third quarter of 1971, specifically August 15th, 1971, the gold standard was ended completely. Every central bank, of course we're talking about the Federal Reserve, but this applies to every central bank, has a license to print without restraint. Basically, they have a license to destroy the middle class and devalue the worth of their currencies and therefore devalue people's labor. We enter the age of capital. If you get it and you have assets, you can do well, extremely well in fact. If you don't get it, you're fucked. Moreover, the education system is not designed to produce people who get it, okay? The new threshold for millionaire is now $14 million. The new threshold for wealthy, generational wealth, $140 million. Therefore, in the age of capital, it is vital to invest aggressively and have exposure to assets that are going to appreciate in terms of purchasing power over the long term. Disclaimer, this is not investment advice. Hard assets like silver and land could do well. The holy trinity, Bitcoin, Ethereum and Chainlink could appreciate significantly in terms of purchasing power over the long term. I'd just like to close by emphasizing that the propaganda apparatus of the elite ruling class, the education system, and the news is designed such that you don't get it, and that you don't acquire assets that appreciate in terms of purchasing power. There is a notion of money doesn't make you happy. That is complete horseshit. More propaganda pushed by the elite ruling class, such that they can further cement the domination of assets and resources. The end. All right, mate, just check this out. <laughs> I can hear you go! All right, mate, check this out. I've just typed in 58,008. Turn it upside down. Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep going from there.